education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about word problems involving permutations and combinations. What could be our objectives? First, we will determine if a situation involves permutations or combinations. Second, we will solve word problems involving permutations and combinations. So let us see the difference between permutations and combination. Permutation, it should be in a specific order, while the combination order is not important. So let us see if the given is a permutation or a combination. Four people posing for pictures. Correct. This is a permutation because order is important. How about number two? Forming lines from six given points with no three of which are collinear. Combination or permutation? Correct. This is a combination because order is not important. How about number three? Choosing two household chores to do before dinner. Permutation or combination? Okay. This is combination because order is not important. How about number four? Assembling a jigsaw puzzle. A permutation or combination? Okay, correct. This is a permutation because order of the jigsaw puzzle is important. So let us identify a permutation or combination that let us find the number of possibilities. In example number one, in how many ways can two shake toppings be selected from four toppings? That is pearl, nata, sago, coffee, jelly. So let us identify the given. N that is equal to four because we have four toppings that is pearl, nata, sago, and coffee jelly. How about R? R that is equal to two because we need to get the two shake toppings. Do you think this example is a permutation or combination? Correct. This is a combination because order is not important. Kahit alin dyan, pwedeng mauna. So combinations of four objects, that is n, that is four, taking two at a time. So let us use the formula for the combinations, that is n factorial, all over the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. n, that is equal to four, R, that is equal to 2. So, let us replace. Combinations of 4 objects, taking 2 at a time, it is equal to N, that is equal to 4 factorial. N, that is equal to 4, minus R, that is equal to 2, and then factorial. Multiply it with R, that is equal to 2 factorial. 4 minus 2, the answer is equal to 2 factorial. Copy 4 factorial, and then copy 2 factorial. 2 factorial, the factored form is 2 times 1. And then retain natin yung 2 factorial to cancel 2 factorial in the numerator. That is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. 2 factorial, we may cancel. That is equal to 1. And then 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. So let us identify now the combinations of 4 objects taking 2 at a time. So 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 1. The answer is equal to 6 ways. In example number 2, the 15 workers in a cafeteria crew rotate among 3 kinds of jobs. How many ways can the crew be assigned the jobs of 2 cooks, 10 servers, and 3 dishwashers? Let us represent the given. The workers N, that is equal to 15, while the jobs, cooks, first letter is C, that is equal to 2, servers, S, that is equal to 10, 3 dishwashers, 
t that is equal to 3. So this example is a permutation. So what kind of permutation? So this is distinguishable permutation that the formula n factorial all over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial and so on up to n sub k factorial. So it means the n sub 1 factorial that is c, n sub 2 that is s, and then n sub k that is equal to d factorial. So let us uh, replace all the value to the given equation. So p that is equal to n that is 15 factorial n sub 1 that is equal to 2 factorial n sub 2 that is equal to 10 factorial and then n sub k that is equal to 3 factorial and then we may stop to 10 factorial so it means we may get the factored form of 2 factorial and 3 factorial only so the factored form of 2 factorial that is 2 times 1 copy 10 factorial while 3 factorial that is 3 times 2 times 1 in a 15 factorial, we may stop to 10 factorial. So that is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. To cancel 10 factorial because that is equal to 1. Ano pa yung pwede natin i-cancel? So pwede natin i-cancel 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. If the denominator is 12, hanapin natin kung alin yung 12 sa numerator. So that is exactly 12. So, meron pa ba? Kung wala na, let us multiply all the numerator. 15 times 14 times 13 times 11 divided by 1. The answer is equal to 30,030 ways can the crew be assigned the jobs of 2 cooks, 10 servers, and 3 dishwashers. In example number 3, from the grade 10 bravery, 5 boys and 4 girls decided to visit their favorite place, to experience its number one attraction, the merry-go-round with nine horses. How many ways can students be seated if no restrictions are imposed? So let us see what could be the given. The given n that is equal to nine because we have five boys and four girls that the total it is equal to nine. And then do you think this example is a permutation or combination? Correct. This example is a permutation, a circular permutation because this is a merry-go-round that have nine horses. So what could be the formula for the circular permutation? That is equal to n, the quantity n minus 1 factorial. n that is equal to 9, so let us replace p that is equal to the quantity n minus 1 factorial. 9 minus 1, that is equal to 8 factorial. And the equivalent of 8 factorial, that is equal to 40,320 ways. It means the answer for this circular permutation is 40,320 ways can students be seated if no restrictions are imposed. How about number 4? In how many ways can a committee of 6 be chosen from 6 administrators? and four supervisors if the committee must include three administrators and three supervisors. So let us identify first the given for the administrators. So n that is equal to six, and then r must include three administrators. How about the supervisors? The supervisors n that is equal to four, r must include three supervisor. Do you think this example is a permutation or a combination? Okay, correct. So this example of a combination because order is not important. Okay, so let us proceed to the solution. Combinations of n objects taking r at a time, it is equal to n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. So the solution now, let us multiply administrators by the supervisor. So combinations of 6 taking 3 at a time, n is 6, r that is equal to 3. While the supervisors is combinations of 4 objects, 4 that is equal to n, taking 3 at a time. So let us replace n and r to the given equation. So n that is equal to 6 factorial all over n that is equal to 6 minus r that is equal to 3 and then factorial multiply it with r that is equal to 3 factorial so this one is administrators so let us proceed to supervisor so n that is equal to 4 factorial all over n that is equal to 4 minus r 
that is equal to 3. Multiply it with r, that is equal to 3. Let us first solve the parenthesis. 6 minus 3, the answer is equal to 3 factorial. Multiply it with 3 factorial, while the numerator is 6 factorial. How about the second one? 4 minus 3, that is equal to 1 factorial. And then copy 3 factorial, while the numerator is up to 4 factorial. So let us proceed. So saan ba tayo mag-stop to administrator? Mag-stop tayo to 3 factorial, both naman yan parehas. So kahit alin dyan, pwede natin uh, i-cancel. So 3 factorial, copy, and then 3 factorial in a factored form, that is 3 times 2 times 1. While the 6 factorial, we may stop to 6, uh, up to 3 factorial. So it means 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. How about this one? We may stop to 3 factorial. So it means 1 factorial, that is equal to 1. And then 3 factorial, copy. So 4 factorial, that is 4 times 3 factorial. So in administrator, we may cancel 3 factorial. So ano pa yung pwede natin cancel? So 3 factorial in the supervisors. Alin pa kayo yung pwede? So 3 times 2, the answer is equal to 6. So we may cancel 6 in the numerator. So meron pa ba? Wala na. Because the denominator is equal to 1. So let us multiply. 5 times 4 times 4, the answer is equal to 80 ways. So if you divide it by 1, the answer is also equal to 80. So the combinations of 6 objects taking 3 at a time, multiply it with the combinations of 4 objects taking 3 at a time, it is equal to 80 ways. How about number 5? In how many ways can 5 finalists be chosen from 20 contestants? So let us identify first the given. The given n that is equal to 20 because we have 20 contestants. While r that is equal to 5, we need to choose 5 finalists. Okay, so do you think this example is a permutation or a combination? Correct. So this example is a combination because order is not important. So combinations of 20 because n that is equal to 20 taking 5 at a time because r that is equal to 5. So the formula for the combination that is equal to n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. We may replace n by 20 and r by 5. So it means combinations of 20 taking 5 at a time, it is equal to n that is equal to 20 factorial, n that is equal to 20 minus r that is equal to 5 factorial, r that is equal to 5 factorial. So let us subtract first the parentheses. 20 minus 5, the answer is equal to 15 factorial times 5 factorial and then copy the numerator 20 factorial. We may stop to 15 factorial kasi mas mataas yun. So, in the denominator, copy 15 factorial, while the 5 factorial, that is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. While the 20 factorial, we may stop to 15 factorial. So, 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 factorial. So, let us cancel 15 factorial, that is equal to one. Ano pa kayong pwede natin i-cancel? So that is 5 times 4. So that is exactly 20. So we may cancel 20 in the numerator. So ano pa? 3, 18 divided by 3. The answer is equal to 6. Alin pa kayong pwede? 16 divided by 2. The answer is equal to 8. So kung wala na, ang denominator natin, that is equal to 1. So let us multiply. 19 times 6 times 17 times 8, the answer is equal to 15,504. So it means combinations of 20 objects taking 5 at a time, it is equal to 15,504 ways can 5 finalists be chosen from 20 contestants. Instruction Identify if the statements are permutation or combination. Then let us find the number of possibilities. Provide your answers in the comment section.
Enjoy learning! Mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!